Okay, to start, we're gonna make a very simple sword, and to do that, we're gonna add a mesh, and we're gonna add a plane. Okay, we're gonna zoom in a little bit. Uh, we're gonna rotate this on the x-axis by 90 degrees, and then we're gonna press tab to enter edit mode, and then we're just gonna make, just so you know, like each of these squares is a millimeter. So we're gonna make one that's, I guess, about two centimeters. We're gonna add a loop cut. Let's put it maybe here, make it a little wider. And we're gonna make a loop cut down the middle, like so. And then we're gonna select all three of these, press M to merge at center. Okay, so now we have our sword, right? Nope, it's like super thin. So we gotta give it a little thickness. So what we're gonna do is in object mode, go to add modifier, we're gonna get the solidify modifier and we want the thickness to be uh one right um but we don't want the offset to be minus one it's minus one by default but we want the thickness to be like centered just so it's easier uh when we're working so for the offset we just make it zero okay and I forgot to do something. So we're gonna actually uh, get rid of this without getting rid of it. If you press this little TV, uh, it makes it so that it turns the it turns the modifier off without you know getting rid of it. Okay. So in edit mode, we're actually gonna t uh, do all, select everything and then inset. Um, this is gonna be kind of like the flat of the blade and then the edge will be the blade of the blade the sharp the sharp part of the blade okay you get it you get it okay so now we're going to turn the tv back on and then you see how it's like this because you know it's in the middle uh, and then we're just gonna apply it in object mode apply Okay, now when we press tab, it'll show the like the inset on both sides. And all we gotta do now is take these, and then we're gonna press M to merge at center. And then we're just gonna do that for all of the vertices on the edge. Okay, and you can't, you have to do this like one edge at a time because if you click more than one and you press M at center it'll do something crazy like that okay so we're gonna take these two M at center take these two uh, M at center I misclicked press N and now what you can do is this is pretty much uh, done if you want like a low poly sword um, but what you can do, I'm going to go into x-ray mode, so when I do this, I select both sides. And then we're going to scale on the Z by zero, just to flatten out everything. And you can see how, like, these lines are a little wobbly too, so if you want to straighten that out. Uh, S for scale on the Z by zero. Just to, yep, make everything flat. And nice looking. And then, um... We're only going to be talking about blades today, so we're not going to be talking about like uh, like the hand guards or the handle, but we're just going to add a very like, you know, simple handle uh, just to, you know. All right, let's get this out of here. Uh, next, let's make uh, like an axe. So same thing, okay? I'm gonna teach you this three times so that you get it, you know? People say, if you learn three something three times, you, you, you start to get it. Um, but we're gonna do things a little differently. So we're gonna add three loop cuts in the middle going horizontally. Um, and then we're gonna scale this up a little bit. And we are making an axe. And then we're going to turn on proportional editing. And then we're going to move this on the X uh, just out like, like this until it, you know, starts to look a little axe-like. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And now we're going to add some loop cuts 
like so. And then we're just gonna like uh, turn off proportional editing. And then we're just gonna scale this down so that it has kind of like a curve, right? And then this, uh, to straighten it out, we're gonna scale on the X this time by zero. Okay. Uh, and then pretty much everything else is gonna be exactly the same, except uh, I don't think I want these vertices on the inside. So I'm gonna select these. Okay, and we're gonna press X and then we're gonna dissolve the vertices, not delete. When you dissolve them, it just gets rid of them and it keeps, you know, the outside. Uh, but if you like deleted the vertices, then it would delete everything that's like kind of attached to it. So we just wanna dissolve. Okay, so now just looking at the scale a little bit, I think that's fine. Uh, we're gonna select all, inset it. About there, I can already tell this is not gonna look great. And then we're just gonna do that same thing. So solidify, uh, zero the offset, make the thickness one, and then apply. Okay, and then we're just gonna merge all these. Um, if you wanna make it a little quicker, you can do the edge select and then just select the edges like this while you're going all the way around. Okay, and I'm just pressing M at center, M at center, M at center, M at center, and I'll leave this kind of flat. M at center, M at center, M at center, center. Okay, so this is kind of like what we have. Uh, let's duplicate this and then like, you know, like it's kind of like a very like caveman like axe um and if you're making like a like a phone game that requires very little detail this might be fine right uh but if we want to add a little like extra like curvature to this there's one thing we could do it's it's a little annoying but you can add a sub subdivision surface modifier and it'll just smooth everything out, right? Uh, but this is not what we want. So we need to kind of like sharpen the edges a little bit. And what we can do is select the edge that we want sharpened. And I just, you know, held Alt so it goes all the way around. And then we hold Shift and then press E. And then we just pull it back to kind of just make it a little sharper, okay? And it's not exactly what we want yet uh, because we need to get like all these edges too. So let's go into X-ray mode. Let's do vertex select this. So, you know, we're selecting both sides. Uh, we're gonna do shift E, pull it. Let's leave that one and then shift E, pull that. And then we gotta do like this. So shift D. It only did the one side because um yeah, let's do both sides. Shift D and then pull it. Let's see how we're looking. Okay, so that's what that looks like. I think that's fine. And then I'm just gonna uh, like flatten it. So S to scale on the X by zero. Okay, and then we could like increase this to, you know, make it a little sharper. And uh, yeah, I don't, this, this is not looking right, but I don't think I know what axes look like. Uh, maybe we can just like, you know, use the proportional editing to kind of like, I don't know. I'm just like rotating it, r rotating it to make it a little more like, you know, curvy. 
Um, yeah, I think that's maybe fine. And like this is looking a little thick. So one thing we can do is let's do this. And then we're just gonna scale it on the Y, uh, just down a little bit with, with proportional editing on. Um, so that it's kind of like this, okay? And uh, you know what, I, th I think we're gonna call that good. What do you think? Not the best, but we're going for nice and simple. Okay, we apply. Oh, this is crazy. But uh, you know, we did it. We we got we got an X, kind of. Alright, let's move on to the most difficult. Uh, same thing, I'm adding a plane, rotating it on the X by 90. Uh, and then I had a commenter said he wanted like a tutorial on how to make it like a katana. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to turn proportional editing off. Uh, we're going to move this along this line. So GG uh, to move it along the line. And then we're going to put it in the middle somewhere and then move it so slightly so that it has a little curve. Okay. And then same thing in edit mode, we're going to make a loop cut like this um, and then let's just select all and then make an inset like so and yeah let's roll with this okay modifier solidify zero the offset make thickness one okay and then uh, apply and then now we just zip up the edge again. Center, let's go into edge select. M at center, M at center, M at center, M at center. Okay, so we're kind of left with this like squarish top um, and that's obviously not what we want so we're just gonna make this uh, I think there's two ways you could do it uh, there's one way where it has an edge on both sides and there's a way you can do it so that it only has an edge on one side and it's flat on the the back side uh, and I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet Okay, so let's just start making it and see what we get. Okay, let's zoom in here. Uh, yep. Uh, okay, so this is a version where it's kind of sharp on both edges and just like the um, the axe we're gonna try to like curve it so I think this looks okay I'm gonna flatten the oh, I'm gonna flatten the bottom scale on the Z by zero okay and then we're gonna do the subdivision surface modifier and again this looks crazy and that's not what we want Right, so we gotta find the edges and shifty them. Shift E them. Okay. Find the edges. Shift E. I think I'm gonna leave this curvy. Um, so what do we have here? This going all the way up here shift D and then this this oh we gotta select both sides without selecting anything else and then shift E 
Uh, I think we've done it. So the top is looking not great, but I think we just need to increase this. Yeah. To maybe like four or five. Five looks so nice. Um, but yeah, you can. This is looking a little not in the right spot. So we're just going to move that here. Maybe move this over here. And if you wanted a flat side, uh, over here, you would just kind of line this up to be like flat like this. Ooh. Right? Uh, like so. Something like that. Okay, so. So that's, you know, we have the blade and I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, so we are going to just apply this and then we're kind of done with our, our katana blade. And then we could like kind of just, you know, like I said, we're gonna do handles some other time. Yeah, something like that. Um, but one thing you can do, this this kind of looks like uh, like Wolverine's like claws. So I'm just gonna make his claws real quick. Uh, I'm just duplicating it, and then we're gonna add a modifier, a mirror modifier on the Y with this as our object. And that didn't work because this has the, we need to apply the rotation that we did in the beginning. Uh, rotation. And then, yeah. So I'm just going to rotate this a little. I think they're kind of spread like this. Yeah. I'll apply. And now we have Wolverine's Claws. Okay. So now you know how to do, like, Pretty much any like bladed object. Uh, one last thing, this is kind of like extra credit, I guess. Um, you know how like some blades have like little battle damage or whatever. Uh, I'm sure there's like another way to do this, but this is what I do, and it's like super simple. Okay, I just get like a cube, and you know I mess with like the angle, kind of sharp, right? And then I just. Um, so I'm just like duplicating it like one, two, three, and then we're gonna shift uh, Shift select all of these and then do difference and then now we have these like little little notches um, And you can do like circular cuts too. So for a circular cut I am gonna add this cylinder. I'm gonna rotate this on the X by 90 and Then just like you know put it wherever you want a circle to be cut and then we're going to select this first just select the blade and then do difference and now we have a little little notch okay um but yeah that's going to be it for today i hoped you learned something and i thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one